Hey guys, welcome back to Chaos Core Tech. My name is Garrett and today is day 18 of 3D Printmas. Now I've got something a little bit different for you today. You may notice that I didn't have any footage of the print at the in the beginning time lapse of this. Uh, there, I lost some footage and that was unfortunately one of them. But anyway, this video is going to kind of be a two-parter so make sure you stick around because I do have something pretty interesting towards the end of the video. So the story for these ones go, um, a few months ago I had someone comment on one of my videos asking me to make a lithophane. Now I had never heard of that and actually I don't even know if I'm pronouncing it correctly. Um, but I googled it and it turns out that it is just an image that you put light behind and you can see the image. Now there are multiple ways to do this and I'm going to be showing you um, two different ways that you can do this with a 3D printer. And for both of these you're actually going to need some clear filament. And they make a ton of clear filament out there in a ton of different colors actually. Um, I'm using Hatchbox Clear PLA. I'll put a link in the description to what I'm actually using so you can see. So knowing that, I'm going to detail two methods of doing this. Um, the first being a very simple image with defined boundaries. And I'll explain what I mean in a second. So when I originally read that comment and found out what a lithophane was, um, I started thinking of things that I could do um, to kind of use that in a cool way. And for some reason, one of the things that popped into my mind was that scene in The Lion King where Simba's growing up and they're walking across the log in front of the sun or the moon or something like that. And this is what you actually see me creating in the beginning of the video. And this is what the model ended up looking like. You can see it looks pretty plain, but you can also hopefully see what I mean about clear boundaries. You know, there's um, very distinct shapes and things like that, and they don't really fade into each other. And so the easiest way to make a lithophane work when you're 3D printing is to adjust the height. Because if you have something that's thicker plastic, light has to travel farther through it and will encounter more obstacles. You just ultimately will not see as much light come through it. So things that are thinner will appear brighter, things that are thicker will appear darker. Now, in order to do this, I actually took it into paint.net. Um, you could use Fusion 360 or CAD software to do this pretty easily, but I thought that the quickest way for me to do it would just be to use a photo editor. So I brought in the photo of the image that I wanted, and then I basically just started separating out the different sections into layers in paint.net. And so I have four different layers here, the first and thinnest being the moon or the sun or whatever that was back there, because I want that to be the brightest. And then the next would just be the sky, which is a little bit thicker, you can see there. And then the next thickest, we have the characters, which is Simba, Pumbaa, and Timon. And then the thickest and the darkest is the sort of foliage and the log here. So basically, once I separated out these into different layers, I saved them off as their own image in purely black and white. So like this moon, it was a black circle with a white background. Then once I had all those files, I passed them through a website that converts them into an SVG file. I'll put a link in the description below so you can see what I used there. And then I went over to Tinkercad. And actually in Tinkercad you can import SVG files. So I imported all of them, lined them up, and then just basically made them different heights and combined them like you see here. And then this is what it looks like with light behind it. I think this looks really cool. Now there are some things you can tweak in order to make this um, a little bit more drastic or lessen it if you want to. The first thing you can do is just increase the height differences to make it a little bit darker, things like that. Actually, if you look close, you might be able to see the um, infill on the inside. So if you want this to look a little bit more pure and crisp, I suggest going 100% infill or something quite a bit more dense. Um, so one, you can't see those lines, and two, the thicker sections will be quite darker. Okay, so that is the first method, but while I was looking online to see what these were, I noticed that a lot of people used actual photographs of like people and animals and things like that to um, make these lithophanes. So I was like, I wonder if you can 3D print those. And it turns out that there is just such a website for that. I'll put a link to that website down in the description, not sponsored or anything, I'm just telling you what I used. And basically what you can do is import an image and then it makes a sort of height map of it. So it takes the light areas, brings them up, dark areas pushes them down, and then you can put it on um, several different shapes that they have available. And you can actually invert it too so the darker colors come up, and I think I actually did invert this one. I actually did one of my dogs, Evie, and the original photo for this was kind of busy in the background, so I manually went into paint.net and um, blacked out the background so Evie was the only thing left. Now this one's a little bit harder to see, and you can actually tweak the settings on that website to improve this result, but I think it's pretty cool anyway. So there we have Evie, and you should be able to see the details of her head right there. And basically all that is, is it's kind of the layering technique I used in the first one, but it's just much more layers, much more fine, and there's an actual gradient. Like, you can run your fingers along it, and actually feel like the peaks and valleys of it. I hope it comes through well on camera, but you should be able to see Evie. I'll put a picture of her over here on the screen so you can see what this is actually supposed to be. 
And then of course you can use anything to light these. I was just using my phone with a white background turned up to full brightness. Um, you can put these in a window, although if you print with PLA, maybe don't put them in your car window, they'll probably melt. But I hope you guys found this useful. If you've experimented with this and come up with anything cool, let me know down in the comments. Um, I'd love to see, you know, kind of unique ways of using this to do something really cool. Okay guys, well thank you for joining me. As always, links to the files are down in the description. I'm not gonna include the EV one because I don't know why you guys would want that. But I will include the Lion King one. And then if you thought this video was cool, make sure you give it a thumbs up and get subscribed below. I'm putting out new videos every day in December. And that's it for day 18 of 3D Print Miss, guys. See you tomorrow.